All right, got a package. But this package is from the past. <laughs> this is a good one. March 14th, 1986. Out of New York, paid a dollar fifty-nine United Parcel Service. This came to the house with two others similar to it, but I wasn't allowed to have mine. Look at that Rambo knife. If anybody remembers the '80s and how cool Rambo was, that is my. Absolutely unused in the original package, 1986 vintage Rambo knife with sharpening stone. So my parents, being reasonable people, decided I was too young to have my knife, but my older brothers both got theirs, so I got to watch them run around the yard with Rambo knives. Oh yeah, check that bad boy out. It's got the compass. Bottle opener, tree saw. It's actually kind of sharp, but this is the best part here. The secret container. Get your two rings. Oh wow, look at all that. Is that everything? It's still in the package. Well, something's crumbling in there. Looks like maybe the matches have gone crumbly, or no, the fish. There's a fishing lure or something. So there's like a. <laughs> Let's dump all this out. Why not? Waited all these years to look at this. I never even looked at it before. Let's take it all out. What do we got? Got something dried up in there. Couple fishing hooks. That's your fishing line, but that's still good. I think this is. It's like a tree saw, I think, is what that is. It's got like an abrasive going on there. And you would hook these rings in there and you could cut a tree down. So that's the rubber band off the matches. That's what's crumbling. So it's got some matches. Oh, we've got a sewing needle. To sew your wounds up. That's important. Rambo would have used that for sure. How many fishing hooks we got here? A few. Got some weights. I mean, this is it. What else would you need? Maybe a poncho. I think they gave me the poncho. That, I could hurt myself with a poncho, but this, eh, you never know. If I remember right, my oldest brother had the black version, and my other brother had, like, the desert version. So I'm, I'm going to go with this is jungle, jungle desert. I mean, obviously this isn't the most high-quality knife in the history of the world. A couple seems to work decent. I mean, I guess if it's cloudy out, you can't see the sun or find any moss, that would kind of head you kind of in the right direction. Yeah, not really. It's off, but. My brothers and I, we were into some army business when we were kids. Like, we were into it. So, yeah, this thing is so sweet. This case, pretty awesome. Authentic, uh, fake, not even real leather, just cheapy plastic. So I'm assuming this just came out of, you know, some guy was just cranking these things out after the Rambo movie. I'm sure made in China. Let's see. Taiwan. It says it's made of 420 stainless. How about that? Stainless. The cries of your enemies will not stain your blade. Yeah, the sharpening job is just horrendous. There's such a huge burr on it. But I don't think that was the point. The point was to have a Rambo knife with the compass in the... You know what I mean? It's like, get some Rambo! But yeah, pretty cool. I mean, found this going through like uh, 
some stuff at my parents' house. And I saw the box. I instantly remembered it. My mom didn't know what it was. I was like, that's my Rambo knife. Without even looking like, because as a kid, I just like knew the box was like disallowed. So that burns a hole in your memory that you can never forget. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. Not sure if it's actually worth using. I mean, I can't imagine it's a high quality item. It's just the idea behind it. It's like strap right there. I mean, that would go around. Whose leg would that go around? No one's? I mean, that's pretty small. You can get that around my wrist. But if you're going to have a Rambo knife, you got to have one of them. So. I mean, it actually looks like it was spray painted. Like, that's just like a little spray paint on there to give it that jungle warfare, you know? Got to be careful. You set it down. You can't see where it is. You never find it again. <laughs> But yeah, that's, that's another knife I was disallowed to even touch as a child that I get to have as an adult in pristine condition. Minus the rubber band, but rubber band can be replaced. I'm not sure if these matches. I mean, those are, those are definitely some wood matches. Probably strike anywhere, I would assume, otherwise, kind of hard light. But yeah, I mean, what else do you need? Fish hooks, matches, that's dinner. Flay that bad boy up. Get your Rambo knife. Got your compass bearings. Let's get an idea of the size of this thing. I got a measuring device around here. Yep. What do we got for blood? That is in the ballpark of looks like 15 centimeter blade. If you measure it in freedom, it's Looks like around six. Six inch blade. Might have to have a permit to carry that one. I'm not sure. I don't know what the law is in your state, but handle with compass. Five and a half freedoms. For an overall, let's do an overall. Eh, yeah, eleven and a half. I believe. Would that be eleven and a half? Yeah, close enough. Back to subject units. Overall, like 29-ish. Blade once again was in the 14. Handle ooh, around 14-ish, I guess. So, yeah, thing's pretty epic. It's a good story. I mean, it's not a good knife, obviously. Might be cool for like. I mean, there's like you can see there's just like garbage in there. I don't even know what that is. It's funny. Good memories. Yeah. Crack a beer, though. That's kind of sharp. I bet you could cut a tree down with that if you tried. Better than using your finger. I mean, it's definitely better than nothing. But, uh, I know they make better stuff. Oop. There are definitely better knives available. Yeah. 1986 Rambo knife. Good stuff.